Hello everyone, thank you for coming up today. My old subscribers, thank you. And to those that are viewing for the first time or that have not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. And to my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. Please do not forget to hit on the like button. A very big tragedy just happened, but in the end, all thanks and glory to God. The Nigerian rapper known as Mr. Raw and his friend have just survived a ghastly motor accident. And this just happened before Banex Junction. For those of you that know that junction in Abuja, Nigeria, in the early hours of today, being Saturday, August 14, 2021, you can see how badly damaged this car is looking because it overturned. And according to Raw, he was pulled out of the red car, which we can actually see there, unconscious after another driver rammed into their own car. He said that he even passed out twice, but fortunately, he is now in a stable condition and is responding to treatment, all thanks to Almighty God. Looking at this particular car, it only takes the grace of God for the person inside to survive. Because once your car somersault in that manner, taking you up and down, and especially if you're not wearing a seatbelt, it can be very, very deadly. But God spared his life. And he even had to go to Instagram right after he regained consciousness and started receiving treatment to thank God for his survival. And this was what the rapper wrote his exact words on his Instagram page. Thank God for my life. It's a blessing being alive in the land of the living. I was involved in a ghastly motor accident early this morning in Abuja before Banex Junction. I was unconscious when I was pulled out of the car after another driver rammed into our car. I passed out twice but I am stable now and responding to treatment. At Mikey Stainless, get well soon, my friend. The driver is receiving treatment as well. God be praised. It really calls for thanksgiving. In fact, the rate at which accidents have been happening and people dying instantly, this young man, Raw, needs to really come out for even big thanksgiving in church because this is not anything that anyone would easily survive you may come out with either a broken leg broken ribs broken neck but look at him you can see that this guy is still looking very strong a lot of people have gone to their instagram page facebook to also share thanks and celebrations with him because seeing him alive it calls for a great celebration, especially for his own immediate family members. Imagine that you just saw your friend, your brother, your uncle telling him goodbye and all for you to get another news that the person has been involved in a ghastly motor accident. The first question you would raise is, is he alive? That would be the first question because the rate at which people are dying these days, it's very alarming. You see someone within the next few seconds, the person is no more. You would ask, they would either tell you the person is dead, the person didn't make it alive back home. Different stories has been happening, which has been so painful and pathetic. A lot of family are in great mourning today because of the rate at which accidents has been happening. On the road, it's not anything that anyone would wish for their own family member. That is why every day we wake up in the morning, it's enough for us to thank God. Once you step out of your house and you come back home safely, you need to thank God. This guy is so grateful to God because if not for the grace of God, he wouldn't see himself back alive and back to his family members. It would have been a different story entirely, but God spared his own life. It calls for a lot of celebration. You can see the other car, that was the car. The stainless car that ramped into their own and see how their own car is assaulted. But look at the other car, it's just standing strong, just by that bonnet that's squeezed in, and there's some assaulted. 
before it now overturned and then people were able to pull them up because in that station they can't overturn the car to sit properly they people inside may eventually die because you don't know what is hooked in one corner or the other in the car when we see ourselves alive every day we just need to give thanks to god because some people are going through a lot some people are being faced with horrible news that would even instantly take their lives away as a result of shock but this young man has every cause to smile and celebrate today because coming out alive like i said it can only be god just the grace of god for our lives this is why we say no one knows the minute or the hour or the second that anything would happen asking this particular rapper if you ask him now that do you know that you would have an accident that hour you had the accident he would tell you not even in his wildest dream these are what unforeseen circumstances that will come our way and we wouldn't even expect it at all we should all be very prayerful while we step out to we'll come in we should be thankful to god that we are alive and we all came back and saw our families it's a very painful story just like the other day when those core members five of them all lost their lives in that ghastly motor accident none of them came out alive these are couples that went and told their families goodbye when i get there i will call you unfortunately they didn't even get to their orientation ground they didn't nev they never saw that place with their two eyes until these young people passed away their families never knew that that would be the last goodbye. Neither did the coppers themselves know that that would be the last goodbye. When people go out of the house and then you see them back home, we should appreciate that because it only took the protection of God to bring your family member back. No matter how good the person is at driving, no matter how good the person's sight is, it's not all by that. It's only the protecting hands of God that has kept us and brought us back home safely. So no one should ever think that it's by his own way of driving, good way of having to see oncoming vehicles and maneuver. No. You can see in his thanksgiving, he just thanked God that he's alive. He didn't say it's because of the way I drove well, I was able to still stay strong and alive. No. He knows that he owes all thanks to God because it's not by his own power, his own strength that he's still alive. We thank God that he's alive. It's a thing of joy to see someone who has gone through this horrible accident that you think the person wouldn't survive. Himself and his friend, thank God they survived. They are alive today to testify of God's goodness for their lives. Well, they say once God has spared your life, it obviously means that he has something more for you to do for him his work here has not finished that is why god has kept them alive once again thank god that they are alive and we pray for quick recovery for the rapper raw and his friend may god almighty grant them speedy healings and others out there that are either admitted in the hospital or that in one accident or the other that god should also perfect his healings on them all it's not easy when you see your loved one going through something like this and the person has come out alive you will just have every cause to thank god friends please if you have anything to say you can put that down at the comment section thank you for coming up today please don't forget to hit on the like button also subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video thank you god bless you all